Covering music-related content of all genres, if it filters through Eastern Texas, it's fair game. Y'all will bring it. From Texarkana down to the coast and Dallas down to Houston and everything in between, we are E-T-X Ross! <laughs> Jen Ford here to tell you about the best guitar shop around, Neil's Guitars and More in downtown Kilgore, Texas. Neil has been outfitting East Texas artists such as Cody Wayne, Adam Brown, and Rio Wallace with his great selection of acoustic guitars, mandolins, guitar strings, amps, and everything you need to get ready for your gig. Need lessons? Go see Neil. Need quick repairs? Go see Neil. You never know who you'll run into at this locally owned and operated shop. Supporting live music for years, Neil's Guitars and More at 119 North Longview Street in Kilgore, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of the ETX Rocks podcast with Boston Chris. Man, we are super excited this week for this special Thursday episode uh, with a new uh, special guest host. Her name is Haley McDaniel. She's a, a great singer-songwriter out of uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, and she's just incredible. She uh, she came out to the East Texas Music Awards. She was a uh, finalist this year for Singer-Songwriter of the Year, and uh, she came out with her own podcast recently called Unsung Heroes, uh, Confessions of a Songwriter, and she came out to the Red Carpet Experience on Friday, September 16th uh, for the East Texas Music Awards, and just kind of uh, walked around and interviewed a few uh, unsuspecting people, including myself, and she's been gracious enough to let us use her uh, her audio stuff and interview stuff that she got on that awesome, awesome night that we had uh, September 16th. So without further ado, uh, take it away, Haley. Hello, hello, fellow music lovers. This is Haley coming to you live from the Celebration Center in Buller, Texas for the East Texas Music Awards. This is the fifth annual show, um, and it's bigger and better than ever. Tonight, I'm going to be coming to you from the Red Carpet Experience. Uh, we're going to be speaking with a lot of nominees. Um, people like Katie Lynn, the Chris Colston Band, Jaden Farnsworth. Um, there's so many amazing artists, and I cannot wait to pick their brains and hear what they've got going on right here at the East Texas Music Awards. So my very first guest, uh, and it couldn't start off any better, this is Mr. Boston Chris. Boston, say hello. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, he is actually one of the co-hosts of this big event tonight, and he is the founder of ETX Rocks, which if you've been following this podcast, you know that he does so much to support uh, local Texas artists. So, Boston, how are you feeling tonight? Feeling pretty good. A little, little jittery, but a little jittery. It'll get, I'll get by it. Yeah, right? Well, it's nothing a little shot or beer won't fix, right? That, that's true. <laughs> well, you look amazing. You do, too. Oh, well, thank it's you. so good to see you out it's here. It's good to see you, too. We're actually kind of we're kind of twinning. We've got the yeah. red and the black. Red, black, white. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Uh, so, since, unfortunately, we don't have the video on this podcast, uh, let me describe here this amazing tux that Mr. Uh, Boston is wearing tonight. He looks so slick. Where is this from? It's Did from somebody... a tuxedo company in Longview. Perfect. Tall it's Pines Road. Tall Pines Road. Tuxedo company in Longview. They hooked sure. you up, Boston. You look yes, amazing. Sure All right. So what are you most proud of about the fifth annual East Texas Music Awards? Uh, that's, that's a big question. I'd say probably just the overall fan support. Mm -hmm. uh, almost half a million votes this year. Wow. We just finished shy of it, but I think we'll go over that easily next year. Um, but just, you know, it's like a reunion every year. All these musicians get to come out and, you know, most of the time they're all gigging on the same night. So, I mean, they don't ever get to see each other. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's a reunion, right? Yeah, it's absolutely. Reunion. So it's cool to see some of these bands that don't really get to see each other at a show hang out and, and become fans themselves. It's really absolutely. Nice. So, um, you have done some incredible work as far as promoting these local artists. And, um, um, as a songwriter, I can just say we need more guys like you in our corner. I so, that. Uh, thank you for everything you do. Um, touch base on what you've been up to this past couple of past couple of months to get ready for this big night. Well, you know, uh, first we we had, as you know, we had a finalist campaign with videos. That was a first time thing this year where we reached out to every finalist we could find um, that was a finalist for an award and asked them to do a, a just a small twenty second video. You did one yourself. I did. And uh, we had, uh, I guess it was almost 120 videos. Oh, wow. And that reached 
almost a million people. Really? On Facebook pages. Uh, I mean, that's really thinking yeah. outside the box. That's amazing. And I think we had a quarter million views on those. No videos. kidding. Yeah. So did I have that many? On I, my... I don't know what the. I can tell you Didn't this: break the, the people are still watching them. Really? You know, it's been two months since we did that. That was during the nomination round. Yeah. Uh, once we found out who the finalists were, uh, and I mean, it's been a month and a half since those videos were put out, and people are still watching them. Well, there you go. I mean, it's, it's, that's a great way to spread the word and to get a lot more um, local support going on right. for these artists. And it's always really cool to see local radio and TV jump yeah. on board because they're getting excited okay, about so it Okay, so you've been, you, you've been kind of a celebrity the past couple of months. I, I've, I've seen you pop up on TV. Possibly. What, I mean, what's happening? What's happening, Boston? Where well, you, you know, they tell me I have a face <laughs> made for radio. <laughs> Uh, we, we That's did, not true at all. We did Fox 51 on Monday, and uh, we proved that to be false. Oh, awesome. So I, love I was it. on TV, and nobody died from it. Nobody but, died. That's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, all, that's always a good thing. And really quickly, too, I know you've got so much to get ready for for the night, but um, please tell everybody again about the two hour radio show that you pulled off. This in was Oregon. last Sunday night with KYKX, which is located in Longview. Uh, Fat Matt, who is their program director, reached out to us, and he wanted to know more about the awards process. and prior winners and things like that. And after talking with him for a few days, we decided that we would do a feature on the air. Nice. Um, and he basically turned the radio station over to us. And Incredible. Yeah. How, I mean, okay, so how often does do you get to have... And some of us, myself yeah. included, are unheard. You yeah. know, we're, we're just kind of making the rounds. But and that was the, the best time. thing about that night was being able to spin a record on the radio that had never been spun. Yes, mine. Yeah, and, and you weren't the only one. Right. You know, I mean, we had, you know, Sabrina Tool, One Way Home. All, all those artists, a lot of those artists have not been featured on the air before. And they need and us. we were able to do that that night, so. It was perfect. And then, then that kind of thing is what we're trying to build, the yes. support from not just fans and bands, and musicians, but from media. Right. Because it's important to shine a light and let people know, the everyday person know, that this is here. Right. And this is multi-genre, and it's all, it all exists in East Texas. Exactly. Everything. You don't have to go to Austin. That's you don't right. have to go to Nashville. Exactly. It's right here. You can go to Tyler. You can go to Nacogdoches, Lufkin, Longview, Kilgore. It doesn't matter. Love it. Just pick a town, and you're going to see great music there. I promise you. Well, you guys heard it right here first. This is Mr. Boston Chris. Good luck tonight, Boston. Yeah, you too. You're going to be amazing. I just know it. Sing so, uh, well, we'll see. Good luck. Thank you. All right, guys. All right. So stay tuned for my next interview. I'm going to go kind of scout the crowd and see. No, Katie Lynn's roaming around. Oh, somewhere. Katie Lynn's roaming around. You know, I thought I may have saw her in the parking lot. Thanks, Boston. Guys, stay tuned. This is going to be an amazing night, and it's just getting started. <laughs> Guys, I have got the one and only, the most fabulous Miss Katie Lynn. How are you tonight? I'm great. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you for having me. Well, you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I wish we had video right now because you are stunning. She's wearing this beautiful, is this like peach or coral? It's or? not peach. Yeah, we're going to talk girl talk here. You guys just get over it. She looks fabulous. Hi. This is Miss How are you doing? Good, good, good to see you. Okay, so I would love to speak with you about um, what you were most excited excited about. Last year, you were the female vocalist of the year for the East Texas Music Awards. Tell me about the whirlwind of a year that you've had from that moment until tonight. Uh, well, <laughs> if you can sum it up. <laughs> uh, if I can sum it up, uh, well, last year, I think on this date, uh, I got female vocalist of the year of 2015. Well deserved. And since then, I have been doing a lot of gigs, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, then I got a call in January saying, hey, uh, we want you to audition for America's Got Talent uh, in Dallas at the convention center. Gotcha. I'm like, well, I don't know. I mean, we have a lot of stuff going on. And we were, at that time, we, I was on a radio tour. I was going to say, you had your Stronger, Texas, Stronger, yeah. which is a great song, you guys. If you haven't downloaded that, go right now, iTunes, pause this, Would iTunes, Stronger. Ooh, sneak peek. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but fine. if you haven't heard her song, Stronger, you're missing out. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, we were on radio tour, and we're just like, I don't know if I can make it. And they're just like, wait, what? Right. Mm. What? You're turning this down. Right. Like, oh my gosh. But uh, he goes, Can I can I call you back in like a few days? And yeah. Yeah. We're, we're just like, yeah. Then he called back a few days later and mom's just like, Yes, I haven't changed my mind. What what do you want? Right. But then eventually we got talked into it. We're just like, Okay, we don't we're not really that busy on that day. So yeah, right. sure, we'll do it. And 
I ended up making it to the semifinals. Yes, you did. And, and started a firestorm on the internet. <laughs> I swear I could not scroll through my Facebook feed without another country um, article or magazine talking about the absolute phenom of Katie Lynn. So how did that feel? That's It's totally crazy, you know, after just being kind of a small town girl and then Mm -hmm. I guess kind of growing up in front of America. It's, yeah. It's it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of go from one extreme to the other. Yeah. But, uh, but you're still that small town girl, right? Oh, duh. I'm from East Texas, so I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you never leave. You never lose the East Texas. Never. Never. And that's a really good thing. Mm -hmm. so I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. So what are you most excited about tonight? At the, at, was it the fifth annual East Texas uh -huh. Awards? What are you excited about? You know, <clears throat> I... I am in seven categories right now. Yes, sir. For, up for seven nominations. Yeah. Uh, Just a couple. <laughs> uh, but the one I'm really excited about is, again, the female vocalist. Because mm -hmm. if I win it again this year, I could say, hey, guys, I got female vocalist two years in a row yeah. for 2015 and 2016. Big deal. Well, I'm kind yeah. of rooting for you for Entertainer of the Year, personally. <laughs> I mean, you. if it's well, you deserve it. You have absolutely worked your little self to pieces, I'm Thank sure. You. Um, so, best of luck. Can you give us kind of a sneak peek or um, a title of your next radio single? Well, I'm not going to give you a title. Oh, but man. I, 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 uh, <laughs> well, right now we're kind of going back and uh, doing some editing. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me just say it's a fast, fun, upbeat song, and you guys are going to love it. Of course we will. Coming to you live from the East Texas Music Awards, this is Miss Katie Lynn. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. And uh, you guys stay tuned. That was just one of many new uh, interviews that we're going to be posting live tonight. This is going to be an amazing evening. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> So, guys, I'm already having way too much fun. I'm on my second Shiner beer, and I'm backstage here at the East Texas Music Awards with the co-host of the evening, the ever-beautiful Miss Jen Ford. How are you tonight? I am great. I'm super excited. I'm ready to go. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to go to the restroom in this dress. <laughs> you know what? When you look that I good... I need, like, a full team right. to go to the bathroom <laughs> with me. Uh, you look amazing. Thank you. Uh, who was sponsoring you tonight for your... This um, is an awesome dress. Uh, thank you. It was specially made for me by Everything That Blings and... And, uh, and where... Where's everything that's in Kilgore, Texas? Kilgore, Texas. And Misty right. Day is uh, she co-designed the dress with. Really, that's amazing. Yes. I wish you guys. I did the alterations. Oh, you did. Uh, this is actually Nathan Mr. Honeycutt. Nathan Honeycutt. He is the founder of East Texas Music and the originator of the award show. How are you, Mr. Honeycutt? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for supporting local artists. Thanks. Are we live? Yes, we are. Oh wow. <laughs> no nice. pressure. Nice. No uh, pressure. Yeah, we're in the middle of the VIP hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Handsome Rob is he's cranking up the DJ system right now, and it's they're having some fun in there. They're taking pictures. They're taking pictures outside on the red carpet, and nice. it's uh, it's very hot outside, so it's good to get everybody in here and have a cool. Time. Absolutely, I'm really excited about sneaking backstage because it feels way better back here, doesn't yeah. it? And this is Donnie Hart from the Alan Fox Band. Oh, hi, Bobo Donnie. How's it, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Um, we're doing real good. And he's the original lead singer of Pantera also. What? This is crazy. Wait. Yeah, All right. We're getting a selfie later. But back to Miss... Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Honeycutt. Back to Miss okay, Jen. Jen, how did you get involved? I know that you've got a lot of um, musical background. Um, how did you get involved with the award show? Um, well, two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, my band was featured uh, as finalist for Heavy Metal Band of the Year. Nice. Um, finalist for Vocalist of the Year. All of our musicians were individually uh, finalists in wow. categories, and we heard about it, and we were like, oh, wow, we want to go, and so we came, and we had a great time. I met Nathan for the first time, and then last year, um, I was playing with Rio Wallace, and uh, Boston was our manager, and Boston said, hey, we, uh, Nathan needs help. He wants us to be backstage managers. And I was like, cool. And then Nathan said, do you, Rio, do you and Rio want to play? And we said, yeah, sure, we'll play. Thank you. <laughs> and then um, we got here, and they needed us to be hosts. Nice. So, so it's kind of like one of those things where you're at a restaurant with a group of people, and it's like, oh, I forgot my debit card. Can yes. you cover it for me? Yes. You know what I mean? So they, they obviously saw your talent and your passion for the music industry and said, hey, by the way, 
today, we could really use a face and a voice for the show. Yeah. So how did that, I mean, so do you love this or what? Yeah, I totally yeah, love it. I'm actually so going to school at UT Tyler now. Nice. Um, I'm pursuing my mass communications degree in multimedia production. Go girl. As a result of everything that's happened in the last year and the visibility that ETX has received. Good. Um, I'm hoping that once I finish my degree, that's only going to benefit the community. Absolutely. Um, and being able to have a more modern platform that's more uh, social media and savvy and yes. driven that way. Because that's, that's the way the times are going right Absolutely. Now. That's how you promote yourself. So yeah. my, I think my strongest point is promotion. Absolutely. I'm good at it. I like to be the cheerleader for everybody, the mascot of the And ETS that's team. what I was able to tell uh, Boston earlier. I want to say the same thing to you. Thank you from an artist perspective for all of the time and the effort and the uh, the amount of energy that it takes to put on something like this and the undying support that you have for local, local artists. Thank you very much. I believe that um, somebody has to do it. Yes. And I understand how difficult it is as an artist yes. to promote yourself. You've been there. And if you get a, a team around you and if you get um, like a, a community involved, then everybody continues to support each other. We all drive. We're all the driving force behind each other. Absolutely. We, we push people to be better. We push people to be competitive, not uh, in a competition, but just... To grow the community. To grow as That's musicians awesome. and as a musical community. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Jen, and good luck tonight. I'm excited. You're going to rock it. I'm going to go try to figure out how to go to the restroom. <laughs> All right, so after her potty break, she's going to be taking the stage, and I'm going to go find some more amazing people to talk with right here at the 5th Annual East Texas Music Awards. Guys, I've got an amazing guest right here. Um, he is nominated for a little tiny eight nominations tonight at the 5th Annual uh, East Texas Music Awards. Uh, Mr. Todd Freeman, how's it going? Doing great, how are you? I'm doing amazing. So, eight nominations. That's right. How does one go about it? I got, I got one nomination <laughs> that I'm probably going to lose. Happen, but yeah. it so, I mean, how do you go about earning eight nominations? What have you been up to this past year? Just playing everywhere we can. You know, yeah. Just trying to get our name out there and just having fun. Well, it sounds like it's working. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, tell, tell everybody out there uh, what kind of music you're into what do you what do you do are you a songwriter as well uh we do write some stuff uh, we have some original stuff uh we're more like the uh traditional type of country you know like the george Strait, uh, that kind of stuff you know. that's my guy uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah we lean to more of that side of it amazing i love it okay so what uh has, were you nominated last year no well? this is our first year first year and you got eight nominations right so yeah pretty pretty happy oh you should be very happy and who are you here with tonight uh part of my band the uh my bass player john wren uh my Rhythm guitar player Steve DeBreeze, sound guy David Sessions, and uh, uh, yeah. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So, why don't you uh, tell all of my listeners where they can go find your music and um, your website? Absolutely. You can look us up at uh, www.toddfreemanandbulletproof.com or on Facebook at Todd Freeman and Bulletproof. We got a uh, band page there. You can go like our band page. And, Perfect. Yeah, all right. Me. So, the last thing I got to do is take a selfie. With all right. You. Cool. <laughs> so, I mean, it's kind of you have to. Right. It's my podcast to make the rules. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Uh, good luck tonight. And, guys, I'm going to post all of the information that he just gave for us um, on the information section. Sorry, it took me a second to think. On the information section about this podcast, you can find the website, um, the different songs that he's got out that you can download on iTunes, and find out um, why Todd Freeman is nominated for eight awards. All right, stay tuned, guys. Guys, I have got my first interview with one of the rap artist nominees of the year, Mr. Lil Levi 501. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. Now, before we were rudely interrupted, Mr. Boston Chris, just kidding, uh, you were telling me about some pretty amazing uh, shows that you played with some major label uh, rappers. Yes, I've done shows with uh, Juvenile, with Webby, uh, Fox and Million, nice. um, you know, uh, Nikki? With Nicki Minaj, actually, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was in Dallas, and that was a few years ago, but um, I'm uh, doing some things, uh, hopefully doing a, a new mixtape, or actually an album with uh, um, Kevin Gates. Really? So, That's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, congratulations on, on, on tonight. Um, have you ever been nominated before, or is this your first?
first nomination? No, this is my first nomination. Congratulations. Actually, yeah. Sweet. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck. And, guys, don't ever forget that there is a huge, huge rap game that can be found right here in East Texas. You don't have to go to L.A. You don't have to go to New York, Austin. You can come right here to East Texas and find some amazing, talented rappers, such as Lil Levi, Mr. 501. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, too. Yeah. Is there a website that uh, my followers can go and check you yeah, out? Yeah, you can go to Facebook.com forward slash L-I-L-L-E-V-I, Mr. 501. Slick, I love it. All right, thank you. Good luck tonight. Right. Appreciate it. What's up, music lovers? Um, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Latin Artist of the Year nominee, Mr. Carry On. How's it going, Carry On? It's going good. It's going great. I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling blessed. That's amazing. Well, we're having a really fun night tonight. How are you? I'm doing good. good. It seems to be a good turnout. I, I like the vibe around here. I do, too. You know, I think it's uh, slowly starting to pack in. We are just finishing up the uh, VIP red carpet experience hour, so we're finding lots of fans coming in tonight. So, uh, Carry On, tell me, a, tell me a little bit about your music, and is this your first nomination? It's actually my second nomination. Nice. Now, last year I was nominated, but I never do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, so I just, I guess I missed that last year. This year, you know, I'm here. Uh, nice. I'm happy to be here. And uh, my music, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's rap. Uh, I mean, I try my best to, you know, add my little Spanish flavor to it, but I mean, most of the time it's English. I'm just trying to give everybody what they want to hear. Nice. Nice. So, uh, can you tell me some of your influences, some of your, uh, the people that you um, have grown up listening to that have affected your music today? I mean, a lot of big Texas artists, that's that's the main influence because I mean I am from here so you know I gotta at least keep it with the same style right. but um, also a lot of Texas artists you know they kind of you know speak the same thing so you know California artists I like to listen to them you know yeah. New York artists uh, I mean just something that's lyrical something that has a message a meaning absolutely the message and the meaning is, is uh, I'm a songwriter by the way okay. what's up but uh, yeah the message and the meaning is first and foremost and I think that that's how you reach the most people so um, can you kind of maybe tell our uh, podcast followers what your website is and where they can find your music yeah you can look me up on carry on uh on facebook c-a-r-r-e-o-n you can find me at mr carry on 903 on youtube and uh follow me on instagram carry on 903 nice guys don't miss out um on listening to what carry on's got going on it's the second nomination for latin artists of the year here at this year's east texas music awards Okay, so live from the East Texas Music Awards, this is Unsung Heroes, Confessions of a Songwriter. I am standing here with Miss Allie. Help me with your last name. Venable. Allie Venable. <laughs> and Sabrina Tool. Tool, yes. Um, Sabrina killed it. Yeah. She's so good. Yes. Okay, so this is this is amazing because the women of tonight are representing. Yes. We've had Sabrina. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes. 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 Sorry, we're interrupting the music. Um, so you just, Sabrina, you just made an amazing impact tonight with your new song. So little did you know that, um, did you know that your song was played on the two-hour broadcast? Yes, yes. Okay. yes, I so appreciate that. That's yes. awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, your song was by far my favorite. Yes. yes. And I, I did a live broadcast, and we had all these people, like, tuning in and stuff, and we were jamming. I'm 
from Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yes, yes. So, I'm from Athens. So I know all about okay, yeah, the yeah. small town. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love it. Awesome. Well, guys, you can be sure to know that, that you're going to hear a lot from Miss Sabrina in the next few years. She's amazing. As a songwriter myself, I am just so pumped to see what's coming out of the next generation. She's so awesome. So, Sabrina, why don't you let us know what your websites are and uh, any other places that you want our followers to uh, find your music. Anything you need to know, you can go to sabrinatool.com. It's got my Facebook, uh, my iTunes. Spell that out for you. Just in case you're drinking wine like me. Yes, S-A-B-R-I-N-A-T-O-O-L-E dot com. There it is. Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, Sabrina Tool, you heard it first on Unsung Heroes. Yes, sir. From, from, from an outsider's perspective, I felt like she she could have done a little bit better on a high notes. Really? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Jim, stay home. <laughs> Uncle Jim, you're drunk. Go to bed. Okay, guys, I'm going to come to you guys. Thank you so much, Sabrina, and we're going to have more live interviews very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. I have been following this chick for the past month or so on Facebook and her social media sites. Heather Harper, everybody. How are you doing, Heather? Hi, I'm doing great. You're doing great. So I've got uh, a little birdie that's told me that you've got some really exciting news coming up. Can you uh, share with our followers what's happening with your music? Yes, ma'am. I am a pop artist, and um, I am currently recording my debut EP album. So this is my very first pop album. And I'm doing it. Producer Chad Malden. Amazing. I am hoping to have it released early 2017. Amazing. So you said this is your first pop album? Yes. Okay, so I've been a little bit of a stalker on social media and I've listened to your vocals and uh, you've got it. You've got it. You're very, very talented. So Thank you. what has inspired you to um, put together an album of, of, or, I don't know, an EP of a few songs and what do they have in common to kind of tell everybody who you are? What are you trying to tell the world with your EP? Well, actually, first of all, I grew up with music. Like, music runs in my family. Like, I, everywhere you turn, somebody had a guitar in their hand. Yeah, and nice. my inspiration is my mom, because she and I would always, when I, I was, like, really little, and we would go around performing and on, on stage at community events and stuff. Just little things like that. Just me, me, like, grew me, up. that's what I wanted to do. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm just finally getting the opportunity to record the album, and I've just taken my time with what I wanted to put on it. Good. Um, so, and everybody asks me, why pop? You know, why not country? Because you're in Texas. Sure. <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, right. to be honest, I feel like that's what everybody's doing, and I wanted to be different, and that's actually what I grew up listening to, was pop music, and that's just what I felt more, and, and I'm also a songwriter. Oh. oh. And see, this is why she's on Unsung Heroes, Confessions of a Songwriter. I, too, am a songwriter. Oh. And that's my thing. So, we have a comment on there. So, tell me, uh, what do you get the most satisfaction out of finishing and writing a song and hearing it recorded? What is what is the best part of that whole process as a songwriter? Oh my gosh, it's just so exciting to finally have like hear your song played yes. back to you and yeah. you're done with it, yes. and you're just so ready to like let everybody else listen to what yes. you're feeling in this song. Absolutely, you put everything in it, you know, everything in it. Everything. For, like, do you get weirded out sometimes? Like, wow, this didn't exist until just like right now. Sure. Like, it, it's, it's like it's so surreal. Yeah. yeah. It just comes out of nowhere, right? Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, can you give us a little um, hint as to what your favorite song will be on the EP so we can be watching for it? The album, I'm going to talk about Moonlight. Oh, and Moonlight. Okay. It's also the name of one of the songs when I released with a single. I'm also planning on doing a music video. I have everything nice. in the works playing ahead, ready yeah. to go. Well, you guys heard it here first, Miss Heather Harper. Uh, the album is Moonlight. It is being recorded and mixed and processed as we speak, and she's going to be rocking it here in the next few months. Uh, make sure that you watch for Heather. Uh, <laughs> sorry. She's getting bombarded by so many people right now. It's kind of hilarious. Heather, oh my God. Okay, so watch for Miss Heather Harper. Her album's coming out soon. She's amazing. Heather, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. All right.